we do a lot of things where we're looking into the future of our desires and we start to plan them out now. And yet, when it comes to business, a lot of people start to shut down. And really, one of the biggest reasons that we start to shut down is because we, one, we don't have, we don't see the connection between what we're already doing and what we can be doing in business. And number two, we maybe don't see the possibilities of our business growing in the future. And why do we not do that? Because we're not dancing with ideas. We're not allowing the ideas to come through. And why aren't we doing that? This is a big reason. Because the minute that ideas hit our mind, we start to go into our brain and we start to push, putting them through a filter, a very quick intellectual filter. And we're not allowing the ideas to come in and start to grow. If you, um, if you're somebody who loves to plant um, for summertime or springtime and you have um like vegetables and maybe you you take some seeds and you put them into some little containers and you start to allow them to grow in the home before the weather is nice to put them into the ground right you you allow those seeds to nourish and start to grow germinate and then start to grow into a plant and if you could see your ideas as seeds as seeds of possibility to fill your garden of your business, things could change astronomically. And, but most of us are taught that we, we've got so many things on our plate. We've got email, we've got marketing, we've got conversations, we've got accounting, we've got all these things to do. And the last thing we want to do is have, be inundated with ideas that we can't possibly manage right now. And a lot of us think that if I get the idea today, I need to do something about it. And that is 100% not true and 100% wrong. And I'll tell you the difference. It's not true. You have to do something with something immediately. You know, as, as a seed, again, think of your ideas as a seed that grows. As a, an idea comes to you, it's only in the beginning stages. It's just starting. An idea comes to you because just like your business, the, the business comes to you because it wants to come through you. You have the um, great uh, combination, the great uh, parts, the makeup of your energy, of the way you see things, of your future and how you're going to grow. You've got the right combination for that business to succeed. That's why it's come to you. Well, your ideas, your seeds are exactly the same way, but they require you and your energy in order to come to fruition. Now, that doesn't mean the minute they come to you that they are ready and they're fully bloomed. They're not fully bloomed yet because they need your input. They need your energy. They need your excitement. They need your structure in your business. They need the love from you. They need the excitement from you. They need all of the pieces and parts of, that make up you and unique as well as your business to start to allow them to grow into a new possibility.